morning, guys. Uh, welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. I don't have Paul with me today, so it is the Chris Show. Um, we have a spot that's been pretty hot here lately. So it's a flat, and we have been catching trout and redfish and, and stuff like that off of it. So uh, let's see what is up today. First cast, guys. Had one on. He's not on anymore, but he was on. Nice trout, looks like. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not cutting up as much as normal because I'm by myself. I'm in business mode. I'm in fish catching mode. Ser serious business. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to cut up, you know, when you when you're by yourself. I have to kind of warm up to myself. I don't really like me that much, and it's hard to go back and forth with myself when your fishing partner's not with you. Uh, you know, for no good reason. I mean, when they're not fishing so that they can get tires on their truck or so that they can um, go to the doctor, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that you can put off. Um, it's, it's hard to understand. It's hard to understand why somebody would do that. I don't know. You know, I've got glasses right here on my head. And I'll have to retie my hook, and I will spend five minutes trying to retie that hook because I can't see it. I don't know why. I don't just put those. Do y'all do that? I'm going to stop doing that. I'll tell you right now. Come to a decision. It's not been a spectacular start. It hadn't been the worst start ever. I've lost two trout. Caught that little baby flounder. Oh, something hit me right there. That little baby flounder. Never know. Here comes something I don't see very often, a barge. He ain't carrying coal. Or wood chips or something like that. He's carrying, uh, what's he got there? Looks like nuclear missiles, maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll let y'all see it. There he is. Paying attention to my coffee. And I have really been paying attention. There you go. But this is another white trout, maybe. It's a little, whatever it is. Not a big guy. But proud to be catching him. Yeah, that's what it looks like. No, this is a speck. Little, little, little. Little, little bit. She got around. Try coming out somewhere and just talking to yourself all day. It's hard to pretend you're talking to somebody on it. Now, Tammy's real good at it. She's better when I'm not even with her at talking. You know, it's like she's just talking to somebody on the camera. Go another one. Um, to me, it's hard for me to get into that mode. Not her. And what's so crazy is if I'm videoing her, it's not like that. It's like she's not talking to somebody on the camera, which is, I'm like, just pretend like you're talking to her on the camera like you do when I'm not here. I'm in the, I'm in the nursery. I guess when Tammy's talking to somebody, she don't need them to talk back. She just keeps talking. It's a Garmin 106 SV Echo Map, and it has a side imaging thing to it, which is why I got it. Well, actually, why I got it is I couldn't see the numbers. The depth finder that I had was a seven inch screen 
and I just couldn't see the numbers. And I'm telling you now, you need to see the numbers <laughs> when you're when you're going 30 miles an hour across the water in a place where there's oysters. And I don't want to run on top of a foot of water and ruin my prop or whatever. So I really need to see those numbers. It's a good idea for me to know what depth I'm in, what depth I'm coming up on with the charts and all that. And I just couldn't see it. It's not like it used to be where you'd stick your pole down in the water and see how deep it was. <laughs> how deep is it? It's about two feet. Something a little better, maybe. Not big, but a little better. The other day. That's a good one. It's probably a keeper. Now these trout must really, I mean, they must just be really moving around because I just cannot pinpoint them. Look, I'll catch one out here, I'll get a couple of bites, and then they're over here. I mean, if you get on them with a shrimp, you're going to get some bites. You got to find where they are. Another pretty decent one. About three or four weeks ago, they were all fat. Now they're all skinny. That's what happens when that water gets hot. Now we're on them. Pretty good one right here. This is a pretty good one. Skinny. It's a good one. I've been just throwing them directly behind the boat, letting it drift. Apparently I'm kind of getting on the right track now. So I'll usually give it five or six seconds, ten seconds after one after something hits it. See like something hit it right there, so I'm gonna let it. Drift a little longer. Yeah, sometimes they're just not super aggressive. Oh, that one was. I've got a little double rig on here. See all these people in Louisiana catching. I'm gonna try it since I'm getting so many bites. <laughs> oh, I got one. It's a little one, but I caught one. Them guys down in Louisiana, they'll throw this thing and they'll catch one on each. They'll be catching one on each jig. All right, I put that down after about five or six casts. First cast back with the shrimp, little baby. Not bad. Now I know what happened. Got a fish on here.
Oh, some big trout hammering. Love ya. See you later. These are little, but I'm going to tell you what now. <laughs> they're fun to catch. They don't know they're little. That's a better one. I think he's been caught before. Had a little place in his uh, mouth there. Yeah, this is about the way it is in the summer. You get a bunch of little trout. But, the key word is a bunch. You get a bunch. So it's a fun time to fish. You ought to catch a lot of fish. And I just happen to like that. That's a better one. Uh, he is a a little better, a little better than the last one. Just get out of here. You don't you don't want to stay. Just come on. Yep, catching all these trout by myself today. The lone wolf. What was that Laverne and Shirley? Wasn't it Lenny? You know, Lenny and Squicky, Squiggy, Lenny and Squiggy. I think it was Lenny that had the lone wolf jacket. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. But I believe that Lenny had the lone wolf jacket. <laughs> Lenny and Squiggy. We used to really think they were funny. They were funny. There ain't no thinking about it. They were just funny. But the funniest one is they were on a... For some reason, they were on a cargo ship or a cruise ship or something. And it came time, you know, for all the people to get off before the ship took off. And they said, all passengers, please disembark. And as soon as they said that, Lenny and Squiggy started going, ar, 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 ar. <laughs> they started barking. Oh, that's funny. I don't care where you, I don't care who you are. There he is. Special guest appearance by this little guy on Nichols Retirement Empire. Thanks for coming by. Haven't caught a bunch of big fish, but I have caught a lot of fish, a lot. I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to get all these on camera. Well, it's 10.30. I've pretty much used all my shrimp. Heading to the house early today. Thanks for watching, guys.